I'm building this frame and I didn't plan to make a YouTube video on it. And as you can see, I'm pretty far along. But I posted on Instagram and a lot of people wanted to know about it. So in a nutshell, this is what it is. It's a foundation of half inch by five and a half inch Baltic, not Baltic, just regular birch plywood. And that subframe is made by biscuiting the pieces together. On top of that, I then have some Paloma, and I'm just using Paloma because I had it in the shop and it's also very lightweight. I've got a piece of three quarter on the inside and a piece of five quarter on the outside. I could have used three quarter, I could have used birch plywood, it really doesn't matter. Basically, I measured in from the edge two and a half inches, made a straight line, and attached the inside piece. I attached the outside pieces flush with the side of the frame, and I'm calling that sort of the structure in the frame. And once that structure is finished, then I wrap the edge of the frame with half inch MDF. And now that that's done, the last thing I'm doing is adding a half inch MDF skin over top of the structure. This needs to be a three inch piece here, this piece that I have in my hand. And I always make it a little bit heavy. I made it an inch, I mean, I made it three and one sixteenth. That gives me a little bit of an overhang and then I can simply clean that up with a flush cut bit in the router. It's been a few days and as you can see, I've painted the frame. I started by priming the frame with Fresh Start by Benjamin Moore. That's an acrylic primer. I let the primer dry and then filled the nail holes with joint compound and then sanded the fill and the primer at the same time and then applied another coat of primer. The finish is two coats of Benjamin Moore Advance. It's a satin finish and the color is white. The next step is to drop this framed painting into the larger frame. And before we do that, we'll take a closer look and I'll show you what I had to do in order to make that painting fit in here and be secure. This painting was painted in 1990 by the artist Francis Cunningham. And for decades, he would frame his own paintings simply by nailing a piece of strip molding to the sides of the stretcher. So that's what I did here. I got started by milling the walnut at a quarter of an inch by an inch and a half, nailed it to the sides of the stretcher, and then I had to build out the back of the stretcher with 5 8 Baltic Birch plywood. So the plywood is at the same level as the back of the strip molding. And now I can drop it into the frame and secure it by screwing into the plywood. I'm drilling evenly spaced holes through the front of the frame and I'll countersink the holes from the back. I'll attach the wire to the inside of the frame and that will pull the frame up tightly against the wall. Now I've got the painting framed, wired, and ready to hang, and I added felt pads on the four corners. I like to do that because it prevents scratching the wall when you're hanging the painting, and it also seems to keep the painting from going crooked. I'll also hang it on two hooks. Now I'll go over and install it, and I can show you how it looks in the room. <laughs> 